guys, what's up YouTube, it's Jack here from Techno Assistant. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make user control buttons like I did in Techno TV. -er. So if you haven't seen Techno TV, -er, go ahead and uh, click on the first link in the description. And uh, otherwise, we can basically get started. Um, so you want to go ahead and make a new project. And you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it Button User Control Tutorial. Alright, and let me see if I have uh, my hover buttons. I'll be right back. Alright, what's up guys? I am back. I had to make buttons. So, not a big problem though. Alright, so now, basically, here's your form. You don't really need your form. Um, you want to add a new item. And this should be here, but if it's not, just click on this. And then search for user control. And you can just name this like button one, oops, button one, or something like that. Um, and then yeah, you can just add it. And then you want to change it to how big your uh, your buttons that you designed were. So this is 200 by 50 for me, um, which is which I think is a I, I think that's a good size for a button. But the first thing you want to do is you want to change that background image to your normal one. So, on your desktop, you, well, yeah, I don't care where you save it, but you you need to save, like, you need to have, like, three states. Well, that's, that's if you want three states. So, like, your normal state, and then when they hover over it, and then when they click on it. So, the click should usually be darker, but we're just going to go to the normal for normal. Alright. Then you want to go to the events panel. And you're going to go scroll down to the mouse section. And down on mouse down, that's when you click. Alright, so we're just going to double click that. Bring up program code. And name it btn, whoops, btn1 dot background. Oh, sorry, my bad. Me dot back, me dot background image. Me dot, oh my gosh. Me dot background image is equal to my dot resources and then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to import it import these images as uh, resources so if you just go back to the background image and you import the rest so like CLK and hover so now these are resources so you can refer to these which is nice so it's easier my dot resources dot and then so this is going to be the click. I was lazy, so I typed in CLK. And then you want to go back down, mouse enter. This will be the hover. So me dot background image now equals my dot resources dot HDR. So this is your mouse is entering the state. Okay. And then you have. You don't want to use the hover, believe it or not. It's it's not. It sometimes it glitches out. So, but yeah. So don't use the hover. And then there's mouse leave, so it'll go back to the normal state. So meet up background image. You go to my dot resources dot normal. Normal. Your normal button. Okay. So that it's leaving. So it'll be like the normal thing. And then the last one is mouse up. So this is like when you like release off the click so then you're gonna want me dot background image is equal to my re you're gonna go to your resources of course and now you're gonna want to choose hover okay just trust me on that one it's not normal it's hover and then you're gonna want to run it and you just want to close it because what that will do is it will make it show up in your toolbar and it's gonna be at the top right here btn1 is drag it in and uh... so yeah we'll just uh... see perfect but uh... now there is one more thing that i want to show you guys so you don't get confused um... well first of all if you think it looks ugly you can you can add a border style but second of all um... to make it 
to make it like do commands like normally you just double click the button right well this is the load so this is when the button loads so instead you can go to the events here and mouse click and then here if you have a message box saying you clicked me all right so now this will do it on the click command so the events are a little different but it, it just the the normal one is um the normal one's gonna be load like the default so if you double click on it it's gonna be uh the load but as like it let's say you grab this kind of button the regular windows button now see this is this is a click okay so this is the default of that the regular windows button so i hope that helped you guys out um if you have any questions ask me um i might make another tutorial on like how to put text on your buttons because that's like a more difficult process well a little bit and i don't have time in this video but uh if you guys if you guys like really want to know just ask me i guess i'll make it well yeah i'll make it count on me up for that but um so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like uh, like our s Facebook, kind of. Yeah, and just hit the little like button. And um, yeah, comment on this video. And uh, I will be making videos every Friday. And then I'm probably going to change that because my school is about to end. So I'll be making videos more rapidly. So that's basically my schedule. Um, and then lacrosse is over now. So... Yeah, but expect videos every Friday, um, and then, and then you know I might without like telling you guys make a video, not on a Friday. So like I might w make one like Monday and then one Friday. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Please subscribe, like us on Facebook, and like this video and comment if you have any questions. And you can also request tutorials on uh, in the comment box. All right, see you guys. Bye.